Welcome to Websites for Beginners with JP. And we're looking at the Ken Burns effect that you can get with premium add-ons for Elementor. Right. So let's talk first quickly about premium add-ons. For those of you who do not know, they claim they are the number one Elementor companion. I do love them. I really do love them. And there are free widgets. You can see there's quite a lot. You get up carousels, you get media grid, fancy text, headings. So if you already use the free Elementor, you can add all these free widgets with it. On the other hand, the Pro is where it goes. Really, it's growing and there is a massive amount of awesome features in these Pro widgets that come with the number one Elementor companion, which is premium add-ons. Please support this channel by clicking on the link below in the description. If you are interested in buying it, it will help me to, you know, expand, do more stuff, but you will not pay any cent extra. Now, having said that, and we were talking about Ken Burns, this is, of course, not a beetle. This is Ken Burns. And who the hey is Ken Burns? Well, Ken Burns is a documentary filmmaker, and he's very famous for in documentaries using old archival footage, you know, you just get an image and nothing much you can do with the image. So what you do in something like Adobe Premiere Pro or whatever software he use is that you take the image and you slowly make it grow bigger. And that is the Ken Burns effect. And if you still have absolutely no idea what I'm talking about, let's jump into Elementor and I show you. You do not have to go get an element for this. This is included in the panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a section over here. And then for the section, I'm going to give it a minimum height. Let's make it minimum height and I'm going to add around 700 for this one. Now you scroll down and you look here at the bottom while you're in the edit section. You have to be in the section. This is applied to a section. You will see here premium Ken Burns effect. So this is important. If you want to have this, this is a premium part. And if you go to the premium add-ons, you have options one, two, and three for a single site unlimited sites annually, or you can get this sweet lifetime deal. And that is 10% discount at the moment for an early bird discount. So these guys are not new to the game, but they are aggressively moving in the game. And that's why they've introduced this early bird discount for the lifetime license. You can go get it, unlimited sites license and lifetime updates and support. And the cat wants to jump here. Look, come here if you want to talk to me. Right, so let's jump back into Elementor and let's go look at what Ken Burns does. So you go down to premium Ken Burns effect and then you will see here add an item and the item is a image. The first piece of advice I will give you is that you need to use an image if you're going full screen like this, full width, that is high definition and you have to allow for it to grow. You will see soon what I mean. So don't go lower than 1,280 pixels, rather stick to even 1,920 megapixels. The problem you're going to face, of course, is size. So you will have to play around with quality when you start doing this. Let me stop here and I'm going to add an image. And then you see I can add another item here. You have the option before we go to adding another one of image fill and I've tried them all. Just leave it on cover. Fill just doesn't work. It stretches it. It looks z ugly and then contain will just make it the size of the resolution. So go for cover and then you can choose your direction or your placement, how it's going to display over here. I'm going to leave it on center center. And because I've put it on cover here, I'm not going to add a new item because then I have to select it every time. So instead, I'm just going to duplicate and then go to item two and choose my next image and then duplicate that and third image. And you may be very disappointed. Oh, well, you have to enable it first. And once you enable it, more disappointment settles in. Still nothing happening. You're not going to see the effect in this mode, you will have to go and preview it. So let's first update it here. And then after it has updated, we go to preview changes. And there you go. Now, this is the Ken Burns effect. You will observe that the image grows and then it 
transitions into the next one. This is very common that you find in documentary TV shows and movies is that you have these old photos and not to make it too static and boring, they will add some animation to it, slowly grow. And there's usually some ease in and ease out curve applied to it. But let's make this now interesting and let's look at the other options you have here. And the first one is the transition speed. Now it goes all the way up to 10 seconds and I actually like that. Once you apply the 10 seconds, it just takes a little longer for those images to, you know, come to full growth. You see, it's much slower now. I like that it's not so much in your face. It still allows for the image to grow slowly and it gives whoever is viewing it some more time to view it. Well, it will depend on what you want to achieve. If it's more for a shocking effect, you can make it slower, but I like what it is doing here. Let's style it a little bit. And there are a few things that you can actually do with it. You cannot, though, apply a background style over it. So let me just go to edit section, make sure we are here, and then let's apply a shape divider. I'm going to choose mountains and I'm going to choose the color here. Otherwise, you will not see what is going on here. It's color, let's say, as the hair, right? And change the height a little bit. And then let's apply the same for the bottom. Is it this one? Yes. And let's choose the height as well. And update again. And let's go view how this has changed our Ken Burns effect. Mm hmm. I've applied it, right? Let's try it again. Let's try. Ah, okay. Very important. You learn with me. I have figured this out, but I forgot about it. You have to activate bring to front. Do it for both. Update it. And now it will display over your background. And I'm confident. There we go. You see it nicely displays over it and as it is growing. And from here, you can even add some nice effects. I'm bringing another widget from premium add-ons called premium fancy text. And the thing is, I want to use white text here, but I won't be able to see the white text because my background is white. So what I'm going to do with my section, I'm just going to color the background and actually you don't have to care about that because once you color it, it will not display on the background. It will not display on the front end. The Ken Burns effect will override it. So I'm just going to delete that. And then for the food, I'm going to say um, alluring delicious and tantalizing. tantalizing. Good. And I've removed the front and back text. And then from here, I just want to go to my fancy text. Come here, Ugh, cat on the keyboard. Huh. They can be such a nuisance. And I'm going to make that white. That's my fancy text. Topography, I'm going to make that pretty big. And I'm going to put my weight. Mm, no, let's make it thick. There we go. Nice. Uppercase. But I don't like that effect. So I want to go. Where is the effect for this one? Go to additional settings. And I'm going to put it on slide up. Good. And now it should be changing like that. Let's update and go see how it looks on the front end. This, of course, has got nothing to do with the Ken Burns effect. Just making it look a little bit better and what I want to do with it. Nice. Going to add some padding up there. So I'm going to click on the section. Am I in the section? Let's see, edit widget. Okay, widget is also fine. And then for the top, going to add about 25. Should be enough. And I think I remember I can add a background here. No, what I want to do is I want to add the background to my column. So let's go to style and then for the background, I choose this one and I reduce the opacity to here. Good. That should be impressive. And let's have a look at the final outcome of this one. Ah, oh, very nicely done. 
That is the Ken Burns effect. Many people love this. They prefer it maybe instead of a slider. There is some movement on your site. And we as humans, we have evolved to be primed to react to you know, motion. And this is something that is not so much in your face. It's a nice slow animation and it does draw the attention. So if you are interested in this, definitely it's highly recommended. Go to premium add-ons. Please follow the link below and go check out all the different widgets and features they have in their pro version. If you still just want to try the free stuff, there's a lot of nice free stuff and that will go hand in hand well with Elementor free. And of course, this premium add-ons, they work both with the free and pro version of Elementor. And the reason why I will always repeat and mention that to people is that if you want to buy the free Elementor, or not buy, if you want to get the free Elementor, you can opt to get the lifetime deal here. And if you use it on multiple websites in a year, your lifetime deal is going to be far more cheaper in the long run than if you were to buy Elementor Pro. I have Elementor Pro, so I'm not shooting down Elementor Pro. I'm just saying that's how these add-ons have been designed and what they have in mind is that you don't actually have to get Elementor Pro. You can get the Elementor free and then you buy the lifetime add-on license and that's going to work you out much, much cheaper than just buying Pro and renewing the license all the time. These guys, all of these add-on widgets and uh, plugins that they're making for Elementor, they are really stepping it up here in 2018. And it's something that we'll have to see how big it's going to grow. The competition is really on and there are really great developers out there. So that is it for our Ken Burns effect from premium add-ons for Elementor. This is JB with Websites for Beginners.